we are now well into Fortnite Season 3. But as we move on into the future, we cannot forget our past. And that is why today I'd like to talk about Season 2 Fortnite. What was good? What was bad? What did they do right? Epic Games did a lot of things wrong. As always. I don't know. I'm talking out my ass pretty much. So for our video today, I'd like to talk about my personal opinions on a lot of the things they've done in Season 2 Fortnite. But I also gathered a lot of your comments, viewer comments, about what they liked, what their favorite part of Season 2 was, and their least favorite part. But I am the most important person, this is my channel, and I get to talk about my opinions first before I get to listen to all your bad opinions, okay? Before we talk about your bad opinions. I'm gonna take a first stab at this, okay? So... <laughs> Let's talk about the theme of the season, Mythic Gods. That's a good theme. There's been times in the past where Fortnite picks a theme that's kind of just weird or broad, and then the Battle Pass characters don't all fit it that well. But this season really checks out with all the Battle Pass skins being Greek gods, or they're Greek, right? Yeah, they're Greek. And I really appreciate Fortnite when they can keep consistent theming within their Battle Pass in their season. So props to Fortnite there. I'm a little fool for map changes, okay? And in this season, we got four new POIs. The only problem I had with it really is that they're kind of grouped together in a sense with two POIs in the top like left and then two POIs in the t bottom right. They're grouped together, but at least it's like two different biomes, two new biomes, and very fun to play in like the, the cool like jump forward thing that the river gives you and by the grim gate and stuff. Pretty cool. Speaking of the POIs being kind of grouped close together, that was my problem with the medallions and the boss fights. You had two medallion boss fights on opposite corners of the map and nowhere else had to deal with the mythic Greek gods, which just, that's kind of boring. That means you can play an entire match of Fortnite where it feels like just season one. It doesn't feel like season two because like maybe the circle is just like perfectly away from those POIs. Like it's, it's just annoying like that, you know? Same thing with the medallions is that you can just farm two boss fights right off the bat. Like the medallions aren't spread across the map, right? which means the map is unbalanced and more people want to land in the new places, which is kind of cool in a sense. But also that unbalances the map where everywhere else will be a ghost town, so that's kind of a problem. That's an issue in my opinion. The boss fights are a little long, they're a little too tough in my opinion, but I think how valuable the medallions help balance it out that it was worth fighting a boss to get the medallion, I think both should just be lowered a little bit. Like the medallion should be so overpowered and the boss fight shouldn't be so hard to get. Look, you don't have to agree with me, that's just how I felt about it, like, especially playing a solo match and trying to kill a boss on your own, it was really tough not getting third partied constantly, like, trying to complete the boss, it was just annoying, okay? It was just annoying. I liked the new guns introduced, like, the gatekeeper shotguns, now probably one of my favorite shotguns, it's really fun to use. I really loved the wings of Icarus, those were probably my favorite things to use too for movement wise. I never used the lightning bolts in my loadouts. I think they were an okay mythic, like they did their job, but they also like were kind of like the Kami Kami Ka or whatever that season had that made yourself a little too much exposed, which I think that's why it balanced it so well is because you you overexposed yourself to do a, a lot of damage and it was a, it was a fair trade-off. The Midas Floors Lava game mode made a return and I didn't really care for it, I'm not gonna lie. It was more fun back in the OG Fortnite when no one knew how to build that well. Now everyone's just a sweaty gamer. It was just kind of annoying. I think the match should have regenerated a little bit faster. You just blew through them too fast. The storyline's a big problem that I kind of wanted to address. I think Fortnite kind of lost everyone with a storyline somewhere between Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. Like, no one really knows what's happening anymore. It's just kind of crazy. Like, they're just throwing shit to the wall hoping it sticks. And there were just way too many quests, I feel like, that were involving in the storyline that it just was so hard to keep up. It was like a chore to try and keep up with what was happening that I appreciate them trying, but storyline is just somewhere that I think is too far gone to try and bring back at this point, unless you want to do a full reset with the next chapter, but it's just not there. It's just not there. With that said, I want to bring things over to my viewer comments who commented on this YouTube short to tell me how they felt about Season 2, so let's look at those. Soli says that his favorite part about Season 2 was taking the L on kids. Unfortunately though, Epic Games took away that opportunity if people want to be a little baby, a little pussy, and they want to cower out from getting the little hateful emotes on them. Oh no, oh no, you can't take a little heat? Can't take a little heat? Pfft, get out of here. His least favorite part about Season 2 was getting separated from his teammates. I don't know if something's happening in his personal life or, or if like just like there's a match where he... His teammates and him got separated. <laughs> That's really hurt. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, man. 
It sounds like you're really going through it. I'm, I'm sorry. Long took about 40 comments to say about nothing about the game that Epic Games made changes to the game. I think my favorite thing about the Fortnite Season 2 was the fact that per chance the game made changes to the game and proceeded to ch then change the game. Thank you, Lonk, for wasting my time. Mason said that he hopes there's going to be a Fallout collab about Season 2, which I don't know if Mason knows that there's a Fallout collab in Season 3, but there. Unfortunately, I think I think that was his least favorite part that there was no Fallout collab in season two. Fluby's favorite part about season two is that it's ending because he was too hyped for Fallout. I hope the one skin he gets is good enough. I hope that satisfies you, dude. This user said he loved the Greek mythology. I honestly have to agree with that. Like Zeus and Medusa and Cerberus and Hades, like having those as skins in Fortnite, they did a really good job with them. I have to agree that that was one of my favorite parts about the season, having some really cool skins that are like based on a real life thing. Well. I'm not gonna say that I actually believe Greek gods exist, but like Greek mythology is a real thing, okay? Okay, okay. Ghostface says that his favorite thing was the mythic weapons that the the bosses dropped. That was another good bonus you get for for fighting the bosses that you get a mythic gun from them. Their least favorite part though is the water bending. I almost forgot about the Avatar collab last season where the water bending was really OP. That mythic weapon was like had to be in your loadout if you wanted to win the game. It was kind of crazy. It was it was a little too much Fortnite. You gotta learn. You gotta learn for the future. Synthboy says my favorite part was easily the fun mythics and overall items. To be able to fly, teleport, throw literal lightning bolts, and use the chains of Hades as melee weapons. Melee weapons, sorry. <laughs> Got a little crazy there. Really speaks to what I love about the game. It's goofiness. I already touched on this previous. I agree, Synthway. I really loved a lot of the mythic items. They're really fun to use. My least favorite part has to have been how quickly it felt like the story of the season fell apart in the middle. We had Midas come back with a new Floor's Lava game mode, a reprisal of an old mythic and more, but then the story quest got repetitive. And while I loved the Avatar Club, it killed a lot of the strong momentum the season started off with. I will add, though, that the Star Wars Club being more connected to LEGO Fortnite was honestly a good decision as it gives their second most popular mode some highlight without taking from Battle Royale. They should have capitalized on that with more stuff in Battle Royale. Though. Look man, they celebrate Star Wars every May 4th. It feels like they celebrate it every three months they, they have a Star Wars thing because you just know Fortnite profits off all the Star Wars skins. That Every time they bring it back, it just, I, I just feel like they don't have to do a grand thing for it and they didn't do it really this time. Other than the Lego Star Wars stuff, which was pretty cool, that they just don't have to maybe just bring a new skin like they did and it doesn't have to be a big event every time, I don't think. We touched on the story earlier. Yeah, that was one of the weakest parts parts of season two, I agree. My roommate Seth says his least favorite part of the season was probably how they made each game start with a five minute video of a grandma laughing while staring at the camera. Very weird creative choice. And honestly, I have to disagree. I think this was one of my favorite parts of the season. If anything, that helped keep the storyline like rolling and kept it going. So I just have to disagree with you. And uh, I guess Seth didn't know this was unskippable. If, if you buy the battle pass, you were able to skip that five minute video of the grandma laughing, and then you got to leave the battle bus early onto the map. That's why you had people dropping late in the seasons, because they weren't skipping the grandma video. Just so you know, if Fortnite adds something like this in, in future seasons, that this video usually is skippable if you buy the battle pass. Seth's favorite part of the season is when they brought the John Wick skin back. I think I remember Seth laughing a lot when they brought the John Wick skin back into the item shop because it devalued so many players' lockers because they brought back an old skin that hadn't been released in the shop for a while and Seth just cackled at it, dude. He, he hates people that try and have valuable lockers, I guess. That's Seth. This user's favorite thing about season two was the guns, which good news user. So far, every Fortnite season has included at least one gun, so Fortnite's on a good roll of including more guns into more seasons. The Rebel Dottie said that this season needed more booba, and I can't agree more. The last time we got enough booboo had to be season 6, chapter 1, Fortnite. And I can't remember another time we got more booba. Matthew just said medallion. I don't know if that was his favorite part or, or least favorite part. He, he just said medallion. Oliver said definitely airbending, which I don't know if that was his favorite part or... Or his least favorite part either. Um, so we'll just leave it at that, Oliver. 
The Chonkster said that her favorite part about Season 2 was Weezer, and I can't agree more. I probably put in 100 hours on Buddy Holly in Season 2 of Fortnite, okay? I'm still waiting for them to add more Weezer songs in a Fortnite festival. Come on, Fortnite! Us Weezer fans are starving out here! We need more Weezer in Fortnite! Come on! Come on! Katie said least Greek, which I'm, I'm guessing her least favorite thing was the Greekness of the season? So if you are from Greek descent or are Greek, stay away from Katie, okay? I'm just playing. I mean, if you don't like the Greek gods, <laughs> you don't like the Greek gods, get out of here. Get out of my chat. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. And that's everyone who responded to me about their favorite and least favorite parts about season two. Let me know what you agreed with, what you disagreed with, and look out for more videos where I'm asking your opinion, because you could be featured in a YouTube video like this. I think overall season two was a really good, solid season for Fortnite. I think season three has the materials to be better, but currently season two has my heart right now. But Fortnite can change that easily. They can, they can really make this season better and they have the opportunity to do so. We'll see how things go. Make sure to use code Harry's Harry in the item shop. Make sure to level up your battle pass. Get tier 100 because you want that cool Megalodon skin. Yeah, Fortnite. Okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye.